thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to. I had a lot of people ask me about my guitar, my other guitar um, that I use and stuff. And so um, some people have asked me to send them links or that you know that I need a, an acoustic guitar, different things. So what I wanted to do was explain some things about this guitar. Anyone who knows me personally knows that um, I like to do things on a budget. I am I am cheap. I am a cheapskate. I will totally wear that as a badge of honor. Okay. So what I want to do is help you guys. Um, I want to do a little bit of a, of a review on this guitar, okay? So this is a Fender, all right? If you can see that, there might be backwards. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a Fender. It's a great guitar. I love it. I love the sound. I love the way it looks. I love uh, pretty much everything about it, okay? I'm going to be straight up with you about the things I don't like because there, there's like a couple of small things. Um, but I love most things about it, so I'm going to tell you about it, okay? So when I got this guitar, and I, and I, I'm going to include a link in the... Uh, in the uh, description as well so that you can go check it out on Amazon all right that's where I got it from now this there's, there's a couple things about it so uh, I sent this guitar to someone when I bought it uh, two years ago I bought it a month sorry no no it was a month and a, half, a year and a half ago I bought it a month be before COVID uh, hit okay so um, hit the US so and everything got shut down and stuff so I bought it at a good time um, I wanted a guitar. I wanted I wanted an acoustic guitar that was a different color than my other one. My other one's just like a regular light brown. Um, I wanted one that, most importantly, I wanted one that had the, the hookups, okay? Um, uh, let's see, so it's got some of that stuff down here as well, okay? So I wanted a guitar that could plug in to an amp, um, but was an acoustic one, because I already had an electric, I already had an acoustic, I needed an acoustic electric guitar. So. I looked, I, you know, I asked around on Facebook and some of my friends, I had some friends from high school that, you know, I, I'm way out of high school, but I had some friends that, that told me about uh, different guitars that they liked. One of them said, a few, multiple people actually said that they had this guitar and that they really liked it. So when I posted the link, uh, when I bought it, it was 180 bucks or maybe 200 bucks. Um, but it comes with a lot. So it come, it, not only does it come with a guitar, it, it comes with a strap. It also comes with a hard case that is awesome because like I like to travel, I like to go to Nashville a lot. I don't even live close to Nashville, I live in the West, but I like to go to Nashville a lot um, and play and stuff. I just think it's super fun. It's really nice to have a hard case because it doesn't get damaged. So it came with that, it came with three picks, it comes with an extra set of strings, it comes with a, a cord to plug into an amp, um, it comes with a DVD on helping you uh, with guitar essentials is what it's called. So that's like a great like beginner lesson thing. Um, and it also comes with a tuner. So it comes with a lot. Now, when I sent the link, though, to, to someone else, um, he said, wow, that's 400 bucks. Like, I don't have 400 bucks. And I didn't realize it had gone up that much. So now bear with me, though. It's not actually, you, you can get around that. Because like I said, I like to, I like to do things on a budget. I'm not going to go spend $400 on, on a guitar. Now, granted, it does come with all those extra things, right? I mean, it comes with basically everything that you need. But still, I'm not going to go spend. When I look it up right now, I've got I've got it on uh, on Amazon pulled up, and it says it's three hundred and seventy nine dollars. So I'm like, I'm not gonna. I, I don't recommend doing that. Okay. Um, one other thing, real quick, I will say about it that's awesome is it has the recessed neck, so that you can come play up here. All right. If you if you want to, you can do like some more soloing and stuff. Um, but I, I I actually my original my first guitar doesn't have a recessed neck and I really don't like that even though I love that guitar it's a seagull let me know if you want me to do a review on that or something as well, um, so what what I have noticed though is I went and looked did some research into it um, and if, if you look so you can do some things to make this guitar cheaper and to get it a lot cheaper now I don't know how much money you guys have let me know if you want me to make more videos like this by the way but so if, if there's a couple things you can do first of all. If you don't want the hard case, if you, that's not super important to you, like, you know, the, uh, the, um, if you just don't want something that's hard, you can get a soft case with it, and that lowers the price immediately, um, thirty dollars. It goes from three seventy nine ninety nine to three forty nine ninety nine. Okay, so that right there is pretty sweet. Um, now another thing that you can do, all right, is instead of getting this exact one, and I'll include a link to this other one because it shows it in the, in the suggested like products related to this item. You can get a different Fender. It's just it's a little bit different. All right. So this one's the Fender uh, CD six sixty. Sorry, six oh five CE. I think that or sorry, yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So now, if you don't want this exact one, all right, what you can do is there's another one that I'll include the link to that is a Fender FA one twenty five CE. Okay. 
same thing it's got it's, it's got the recessed neck which is awesome um, but it's a sunburst color so it's just a little bit different but guess what the price then goes down to 289 all right so we've already dropped it 90 bucks now that might still be a little bit too much for you i think that one actually does come with the hard case um but another thing you can do and i again i don't know how much money you guys have and i know things are expensive right now because of everything all the factory shutdowns and stuff because of covid for the last year um but you can also there's another one on there that you can get that's a it's more of like a brown color um, and I'll include the link to this one as well. It's the Antonio Giuliani Acoustic Mahogany Guitar Bundle. So that one gives you a soft case. Uh, it's a different, it's a little bit of a different brand and stuff, so I don't know as much about it, but that one's gonna be 270. So it's 269.99. And again, that still comes with a case. It comes with, with picks, uh, a strap, and everything. So let me know if you guys you know, want me to, to show you more about like the different guitars I have. I only have a couple, but um, I'm not getting paid by anyone to do this, so. Um, so I, you know, I'll do what I can for you. But um, I, I really like this guitar. I like that it came with all these extra things. Um, I like that it wasn't super expensive. And like I said, you know, we can get you can basically get it down to like 350 bucks. Um, pretty actually, sorry, like 290 um, pretty quickly. So I know that's maybe not as cheap as you were hoping for, but sometimes you get what you pay for. All right. So just keep that in mind too. Like if you go out and spend a hundred dollars on a guitar, unless you're really shopping around and you get a used guitar, and and that's just, you know, I've had used guitars before and they still work great. I had a Yamaha for a while uh, when I lived out east and that was a great guitar. Um, but you're going to have to really, really shop and you're going to have to find something that's used uh, and it's not going to come with all these things. So um, you can find something cheaper, but remember you, you get you get what you pay for. That's something that I've just noticed in life. That doesn't mean you have to pay an exorbitant amount of money, uh, but I wouldn't try and go get something for 50 bucks or, or you know, 100 bucks brand new, especially if you get something that cheap. It's not gonna really last for you. So uh, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the sound on this. So you know the song I was just playing. If you can let, let if you can guess that song, let me know what what song that is and who the band is in the comments. All right, let me know that, and uh, I'll give you a gold star. I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Okay. So this song you can see, or sorry, this guitar sounds pretty good. That's a G chord. All right. This is E minor. All right. You got C. So you can go, that sounds pretty good. Um, if you want to hear some picking. So I think that sounds good. Um, I'll show you over here a little bit more too. So we'll play a little John Mayer. So I think it sounds good. All right, um, I'll show you a little more here. So um, let's see, so you can do just some other easy stuff, like you know, some blink on here. Play the strings that they give you sound really good, um, I think. Okay, so there's some um, some awesome different things you can play for. It's great that you can plug it into an amp. I love that. Um, and what you, what I don't recommend doing is if you have an acoustic guitar already that doesn't plug into an amp, I don't recommend um, making it so that it does because you can do that, but it's just it doesn't sound great. Like sometimes you'll, the middle strings won't work. Okay, so I can't show you this now because it's not doing it right now. But depending on where I take this guitar, and I've had other guitars and they haven't done this, but depending on where you take this guitar like depending on the humidity and stuff. So some of the strings won't work great. Or if there's a big temperature change, sometimes they don't work great. Like that, and, and you'll have to readjust like, like this part up here, okay? This white part, I've had to have that readjusted. Or down here, I've had to have it readjusted. Now, what happens is sometimes when you're playing the E, the little E strings, okay? And the B string, all right? So they sound fine here. Okay, but 
There are times where they don't, where I play them up higher and they won't sound good. Now they sound fine right now, like I'm saying, but there are times where it doesn't work great and it'll be like a little bit, um, like, like they're muted and they sound like they're dulled. And it, it, you can't, I couldn't play them for a while up higher, okay? It was, it was like around the 12th fret. But now they're working fine, so it's kind of a frustrating thing that that's been one thing that I, I don't like about this guitar. Now, the things I do like about it, I like the sound, I like the way it looks, I like everything it came with. Um, I love the recessed neck. Um, I like the strings, they're, they don't hurt my fingers, but I also like steel strings. I don't like the nylon strings as much. Um, and uh, I just, yeah, I think it just sounds great. I think it looks great, and it was inexpensive. You know, I got it for 180 bucks. Now, maybe after all this COVID, you know, crap with the factories being shut down, maybe after we catch up and stuff, after that's all over, maybe it will, like, maybe it'll go down in price again. Um, I don't know. I can't tell you to wait for that, but I can tell you I really like this guitar. Um, like I said, I've had it for over a year. That's the only problem I've had with it, which is kind of a big deal, right? Like, that kind of sucks that it's been like that. But that being said, like, I knew when I spent $180 on my guitar, that came with a case and everything, I knew I wasn't getting some like the top of the line guitar. So that's what you want. If you want like the best guitar out there or something, don't get this guitar. It's not that's not what it is. But if you want just a really like a solid guitar and you're a new a newer guitarist, um, and you need an acoustic electric or you just want an acoustic guitar and you don't have one, um, I would totally recommend it. I really I've really liked it. I I think it's been a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I like the sound and everything. So I, I think it's been good. I like to, it's not, nothing feels like too stiff on it, right? Like some, sometimes too, what happens is like, I mean, I have buddies that have super expensive, like $1,200, $1,200 guitars pre COVID. So this is like regular pricing and this, and the strings were just so high up, like, or they would end up just moving really high up. So they were, they would be like really far from, from the, the neck. All right. You can, I don't know how well you can see that. These aren't that far. So it's really easy. So it's not hard to play. It's not like if you play a lot of power chords, um, all right, then it, it'll hurt your wrist. At least it does mine, but it'll hurt even more if you have to push it way down. They've had to go get that fixed and stuff. I don't like that. I mean, that, that sucks. I'm not going to go spend $1,200 on a guitar. It's supposed to be awesome. And then you have to get it repaired all the time. I mean, other than that one thing, I've, I haven't had to do anything to this guitar. Um, and even after he did that and then it got, it was fixed for a while and then it had the issue again, it's gone away with the sound thing. But it, this is also a sixth of the cost, or at least it was when I got it, of what my buddy's uh, tailor was. So I really like it. I think, you know, especially if you're newer in, in the guitar game, don't go get something that's crazy expensive. That's That would be my piece of advice. Get something that you like that's inexpensive and that you can start running out, but don't, please don't go get like a Hannah Montana guitar for a hundred bucks or 50 bucks. That's brand new for that price at Walmart or something like that. Don't do that. Um, get something that's going to be reliable. You know, spend, don't spend it below 150 bucks on a brand new guitar. If you're spent, if you're getting a used guitar, sure. You can do that. I got a, I had a Yamaha for a while. Um, that was like, I got for like 120 bucks or something like that. And it was a great guitar. Yamaha makes great ones, but just don't get, go get something that's like a toy guitar that isn't, that you can't really play on. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions or anything, or if you'd like, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, or if you just want me to stick to what I've been doing and just do mostly uh, tutorials and some covers and stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. It's been fun. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.